20 and 22 years of age there. Skating to music entitled Rocco and His Brothers by Nino Rota, the uh, current national bronze medalists. This is Lorenza Alessandrini and Simone Vaturi. They go into this free dance, lying in 14th place. Super start here, you couldn't see it, he was on one foot. Oh. It's been a stationary lift to start. So it this morning, very dramatic and powerful. Superstar. performance from this couple strong music and uh, they managed to keep up with it pretty much all the way through and not bad when you consider it's their first European Championships and Roberto will be pleased with that telling the story of Rocco and his brothers 
And if I knew what the story was, I'd tell it you. But that was it. And it looked pretty dramatic at the end. The first half of the programme, I was very impressed by the opening position, the opening lift, and the, uh, the up to the twizzle sequence was good. But the, from then on, it was a little weaker for me, the diagonal step sequence when they're in dance hold together. It's, he's a little stooped forward with his shoulders. It's not, he doesn't look relaxed in that position. So in the diagonal step sequence, staying in hold, it was a little constrained and restrained as against when it's more open. Their conditioning is fantastic because they were driving right through to the end. So there was no pulling off with the energy. The Italians know how to do that. That was from the start when she was in the layback position. Some spectacular lifts. There was one where his hand was just above his head and he was still supporting her. So they, Roberto knows the rules, so I'm, I'm sure it's within the rules, but I thought you weren't allowed to have your hand above your head holding at all. So it was just a moment I was asking a question at this spectacular you have to hit the position you've only got the six seconds to hold it and the coaches have the stopwatch and the technical specialists do you get a deduction if it's over six seconds no matter what the music's doing and there were times when the the flow and the linking together wasn't what it could be yet it'll it'll develop now here's one of the their lifts i wonder if they're going to show us one of the overhead lifts because they did one where there's no hands at all and she's upside down. They're always watching the man's hands. Is his hand supporting her leg above his head? What will the technical specialist say about that? That's the key. Very clever, but it looked to me like you could have an argument that his hand was supporting her leg above his head. Now, is that the transition to get into the lift or yes. where do they take it from? Yes, I don't know. I, I, okay. I'm, I'm not... I'm not the master of understanding the, all the, the technical rules and sometimes I'm just focus on the aesthetics but I thought you weren't allowed to have your hand above your head because we're trying to keep it different to pair skating and although it's become very gymnastic, very athletic um, we have to keep it below the big overhead lifts that's where part of the differenti differentiation is as well as the jumps etc and staying close together so I just have a little question so, no, Roberto will probably see me afterwards and say, no, 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 no. it was fine. Yeah. In which case, that'll be good. Okay, well, we'll see if there's any deductions in there or... So, 74.12, the target for these two. Siobhan and Alexander from the Ukraine leading at the moment. And it's 67.66. Uh, well, it's...